Hello, my name is Devin Action Ricker, and welcome back to our One Punch Man bodybuilding series. In today's video, we're going to be looking at both Blast and Bomb and asking, could they be bodybuilders? And then after that, we're going to go into where would they actually rank amongst the One Punch Man characters? And then we're actually going to ask some of the web's biggest fitness questions. So it should be an exciting one. So let's go ahead and jump into our tier list. So far, we've looked at both Darkshine and Saitama from a bodybuilding perspective. Now, this isn't just like an overall, like what do I think their physiques like just look like in general, but this is more of like, what do their physiques look like compared to other bodybuilders and using bodybuilding like ranking systems. So like we're looking at symmetry, we're looking at conditioning, we're looking at muscle mass and proportions. And according to all of those things, I believe that Darkshine would definitely be a Mr. Olympia contender. That's like the top of the top of the pro bodybuilders. I think that Saitama, although he has an amazing physique, he has like a really good natural kind of normal physique, if that makes sense. It's a very athletic physique. So he definitely works out. He's in great shape, uh, but he's not quite like a bodybuilder-esque kind of physique. So what that would look like is if he were to grow out his shoulders, add on a lot more muscle mass, have a good V taper and have bigger legs. Now, of course, he doesn't need it for being a hero. Obviously, bodybuilders are more like sculptors and sculptures that they just show on the stage. It's a, it's an art form, if you will. Uh, for him, being a hero, it's more about his power, his strength, that sort of stuff. So actually, he's in the perfect category being athletic. So today, we're going to look at Blast and Bomb. So first of all, we don't have a whole lot of different uh, physique pictures of these guys, so we're going to be just kind of working based on what we do have. So when looking at Blast here, this was one of the best pictures I could find of his physique, and I'm sure there's better ones out there, but as far as what I was able to find, this is a really good one to show off what he has. Now, of course, we're not looking at him you know, we're not seeing anything like shirtless or anything like that, but we can still see his muscles popping out and that shows us that he has really great muscular development and his physique just looks like something like a men's physique division. It doesn't look super bulky like an open bodybuilding division. I would definitely place him in the men's physique and potentially even the classic physique divisions. So when we look at his physique, we can see his chest pops out really nicely. His biceps are really popping out. He's got great forearms actually. And then on top of that, he's got really nice lats and a really good V taper. So he's got a really good shape to him, really good legs. And the fact that we can see all of this through his suit means that he's probably really lean as well. He's probably very well conditioned. Now we can't give like a, a really good rating, but as far as what I can tell here, I mean, he looks great to me. I would say he's probably at least, he could probably at least compete on an amateur division for sure. So like I said, um, these are gonna be subject to change. By the time we get to the end, I might be like, hmm, maybe he could do pro bodybuilding. But I would say for now, I think it's a safe assumption that he could at least do amateur, potentially pro in the future. So as we get like more pictures of these guys, as they come out and we see more of their physiques and stuff, you know, uh, we see the width of his shoulders and everything. I mean, he could easily be right up there in pro. And who knows, maybe even Mr. Olympia uh, in a men's physique division. So right now he's at least amateur, like I said, could be pro. Now let's look at Bomb. Now this is an interesting choice of character because he's an old man, right? I think he's in his 80s. Uh, but obviously at this form, he wouldn't be able to compete. Uh, he would he would be in the fit slash athletic category where he is now. If you take a look at like his younger self though, Let's see, like especially, I mean, obviously his brother is gonna have a great physique ranking. If you take a look at his younger self, obviously his brother would be in the great physique category and we'll get to him eventually. But you can see just a little bit more. You can see like how he's got feathering in his chest. And obviously if he's got the same genetics as Bang, then he's gonna have a pretty amazing physique as well. So, but we just don't see enough of that. So in his current form right now, like this, is what we have to go based off of, unfortunately. And so given that, I'm gonna put him in the fit category. He obviously works out, he does martial arts, obviously. He's, he's in great shape, he's obviously an amazing martial artist, but as far as bodybuilding goes, he is lacking quite a bit. So eventually we'll go into some of these other characters, but for now, I wanna actually look at something pretty cool. I wanna look at the internet's most asked fitness questions. I thought that would be a fun little thing to do with a quick Google search. So we're not gonna answer all of these, but I thought it'd be cool to go over just a few of them. So the top 10 frequently asked questions answered. Oh, they already answered them. Well, I wonder how my answer would compare. So uh, I think this is really interesting. Do I need to work out every day? 
pause the video, tell me what you guys would say. Do you think that you need to work out every day? In my opinion, as a personal trainer, I don't think you need to work out every day. And in fact, I would encourage you probably not to work out every day. In fact, what I would do is I would implement both heavy days and moderate days and light days into your program. So a lot of people think when I'm working out, I'm going like 100% all the time. If you did that, you'd be done working out within a couple of weeks. That's why so many, that's one reason why so many people, you know, they have their new year's resolution and they're not really sure how to work out. And so they just go like 100% and then they're done, you know, because it's just, it sucks, honestly. So it's important to start off, let's say you have a mesocycle, that's how you should be doing training, a mesocycle at a time, which is about four to six weeks. So you wanna start really light and then kind of build up the intensity each week until you get to that peak week, and then you're gonna deload from there and then recalibrate and redo another mesocycle. So within those mesocycles, you don't necessarily have to work out every day. I would encourage you, especially if you're just starting off, just try to do something that you could do consistently. So maybe three to four times a week. That's a really great starting place. And then maybe add in, you know, track your steps just a bit. So if you wanna lose weight, maybe try to get around 10,000 steps a day. If you wanna gain weight, maybe get a little less, but still get maybe about 8,000 steps a day, just to make sure that you're staying active and you're staying, you know, fit and you're staying healthy throughout your day and you're moving. That would be my answer. You don't need to work out every day, but try to be consistently fit throughout the week and try to do something at least, whether it's walking or working out throughout the week. So the next question is, how long should I work out for? This is another it depends question. Actually, almost every answer to every fitness question is it depends. It depends on you, it depends on your goals, all sorts of things. But in general, how long should you work out for? Most workouts that I have myself and with my clients last either at minimum 30 minutes and at maximum a little over an hour, maybe an hour and 10, hour and 15 minutes. So it just depends on the person, how quick they can get things done, depends on if you if you superset exercises, and it depends on the type uh, or the time in your mesocycle that you're in. So if you're in that first week, you could probably get close to getting everything done around 40 minutes. If you're in the peak week maybe you need a little more rest in between sets so then maybe at that point you're looking at a little over an hour or so uh, so it just depends but you know somewhere around in that range should be pretty good for you okay I'm gonna do one more how can I increase lean muscle mass there's a little less nuance to this question it's about the same for everyone how do you increase lean muscle mass the answer is you work out you work out and you eat the appropriate nutrition so you, you have to work out, especially with weights, and you have to use resistance. So if you want mass in your legs, do squats. If you want mass in your chest, do bench. If you want mass in your back, do rows, do deadlift, all sorts of things like that. So it's about the exercises that you choose for the specific muscle groups that you do, and then it's also about the nutrition that you're taking in. So you wanna make sure that you're having in plenty of protein, and I would say, you know, a really good rule of thumb is just to have about one gram per pound of body weight per day. So if you weigh 200 pounds, have about 200 grams of protein. Now that's not for everyone. That's a really big generalization. Sometimes you need a little bit more if you're cutting. Sometimes you need a bit less. And if you just wanna be in decent overall shape, you don't care about gaining a lot of muscle, you don't need that much protein at all. So that's a really great place to start with that. And I hope that you found that helpful. So let's answer our final questions. Can Blast and Bomb be bodybuilders? Blast, definitely. Bomb, probably not. Uh, and if so, where would they rank? Blast, definitely, I would say, is in the amateur slash perhaps pro divisions. And then Bomb is more of just the fit category. And then the web's biggest questions, we went over those. And if you have any fitness questions, let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this style of video with very minimum editing, it's something I'm trying out for a month. This is day three, so we're gonna try and get to 30, 30 in a row maybe, we'll see. Um, but just let me know in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer any questions that you have in a future video or maybe even in the comments. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell or whatever they say these days, and I will catch you in the next video. Go ahead, go ahead, hit that like button. If you're still here, I mean, if you've made it this far, you gotta hit the like button. I mean, at this point, you're committed. Catch you later.